Hey babes, this is my Mila Kunis makeup tutorial and I love Mila, I think she's so beautiful and so I wanted to do a tutorial on her but this hair was sent to me by Aliexpress Loving Hair which I'll talk about more in the video and other than that, enjoy the rest of the video The first thing that I've done is apply Geo Tricolor Green Circle Lenses on my eyes I'm then going to be applying some primer and this is the Hourglass in number 28 What I'm doing now is applying foundation and I'm using the Sansan High Definition Foundation in Olive and I'm using my MAC 130 brush just to blend that into the skin Now I'm going to be moving on to the eyebrows, I'm just going to be filling them in using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in dark I'm going to arch my eyebrows like Mila Kunis as well and elongate them. I'm then going to be lightening my brows using my Colour My Brows by Etude House in number 2 and brush the brows up. Now I'm going to be using my OCC Skin Conceal in Y1 and sort of reshape my eyebrows this way and also highlight it. Now I'm going to be applying a base and I'm using MUA Color Blast eyeshadow tint in Bring It Back, which is a chocolate brown. I'm applying that on the lower lash line and all over the lid up to the crease as well. And I'm just going to be blending that in with my ring finger. For eyeshadows, I'm going to be using Urban Decay Naked Palette, the original. And the first shade that I'm going to use is Half Baked and apply that to the inner corner of the eye. And I'm also going to apply that into the inner lower lash line. I'm using the brush that came with the palette as well. I'm then going to be using smog all over the lid. And applying dark or slightly onto the outer corner. To blend that in, I'm just going to be using a 217 brush with no product on it. And to transition that into a warmer colour, I'm going to be using Buck from the same palette, which is a matte brown. You want to go quite high up with this because that's what Mila has. With my Louise Young LY13 pencil brush and Dark Horse, again, I'm just going to be applying that onto the lower lash line, going halfway through. And I'm going to sort of blend that in with Half Baked, which is what we put in the inner corner as well. Now for eyeliner, I'm using Topshop Cream Liner, and I'm going to be using my Ella Masca liner brush for this. And I'm going to be drawing a thin line all the way to the outer corner into a wing. And the wing's kind of going out rather than up because we want to create that feline shape, which Mila has. And slightly drawing into the inner corner as well to elongate it. I'm also going to be using that black liner into the waterline as well. Now I'm going to be using Creep and smudge the liner in. You really want to smoke out that black and make it diffused. See how everything gradiates up and there's no harsh lines? For my bottom lashes, I'm applying Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. And I bought this the other day because Lucy and Lydia, my friends here on YouTube, they love this, so I wanted it as well. And for my top lashes, I'm applying Majolica Majolica Lash King Mascara. For lashes, I'm applying Aura Lashes in Barbie. And that's the eyes done! Moving on to the face, I'm using my Dior Skin Flash Radiance Booster Pen and I'm just going to be using that to highlight the under eye area. This is also going to help clean up the eyeshadow if any of it has fallen down onto the skin. Now I'm going to be powdering the skin in certain areas and I'm using my pressed banana powder and if you want to know how to create your own pressed and loose banana powder, then comment down below. I'm just using my setting brush to do this. Now I'm going to be contouring using my sleek contour kit in light. Mila has really, really amazing cheekbones. 
I'm going to contour the temples and the jawline. I'm also going to be slimming down my nose a little bit. And you don't want any harsh lines, so I'm just going to be using my foundation brush to blend that in slightly. For the cheeks, I'm applying MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Stereo Rose, which is limited edition. And to make your skin even more bronze and glowy, I'm applying Vivo Baked Bronze in Bronzed. <laughs> my favourite Mila Kunis film definitely has to be Friends with Benefits. It's like my favourite and I think she's really beautiful in it as well. For the lips, I'm slightly going to be nuding them out with a little bit more of the foundation I use on my skin. For the lip liner, I'm going to be slightly underlining my lips, making them look smaller with NYX Natural Lip Pencil. On top of that, I'm applying Satin Lipstick by MAC in Cherish, which is a nude colour. And to make the lips a little bit more peachy and glossy, I'm using Lip Glass in Orange Tempera from MAC as well. Now that I've put on this wig, I made this wig using AliExpress Loving Hair Wefts, and it's human hair and it's black. I mean, Mila's hair is kind of more of a brown, but... And this hair was sent to me, I'm just straightening it using my Babyliss Hair Straighteners. And it's all natural hair as well, so you can heat style it. So this hair I made using a 12 inch lace closure and 14, 16 and 18 inch wefts. And it created this black, amazing, thick wig. It's so thick and it's got a lot of hair in there. It's really, really high quality as well. It's so soft. So if you want to check out the hair and the website, then I will be leaving a link in the description bar. So this is the final Mila Kunis look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you like the celebrity inspired makeup tutorial slash transformations, then leave a comment down below leaving me even more suggestions. I really want to do Beyonce. So if you want that to happen, then tell me in the comment section down below if you agree. And this has been Mark of the Prince of Vanity. Please give this video a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. And hopefully I will see you on my next video. Subscribe, goddammit. Bye-bye.